the way. I thought we settled that already here on Thursday. It is settled already. Change your prayer and change your outlook and change your confession. From now on, nothing shall be impossible unto me. I said nothing shall be impossible unto me. You have what you say. I said you will have what you say. Matthew chapter 21. Matthew chapter 21. I will read him from verse 20. Matthew chapter 21. Read him from verse 20. And when the disciples saw it, the mother said, How soon is the fig tree withered away? Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily, I say unto you, if ye have faith and doubt not, that's all it requires. If ye have faith and doubt not, I will not doubt. How can you doubt? I will not doubt my God. I will not doubt Jesus my Savior. I will not doubt the Lord my Redeemer. I will not doubt my Healer. I will not doubt the Word of God. Say it. I will not doubt the Word of God. If ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also, but also, if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. Tell me, it shall be done. Tonight, it must be done. It shall be done. And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive all things all things all things ye shall ask in prayer believing ye shall receive mark chapter 9 mark chapter 9 i'm reading from verse 23 mark chapter 9 verse 23 jesus said unto him if thou canst believe how many things are possible? All things are possible to him that believeth. Lord, I believe. Mark chapter 11. In Mark chapter 11, reading from verse 22. Mark chapter 11, verse 22. And Jesus answering says unto them, Have faith in God. Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. Say something good tonight, you'll have it. Say something positive tonight, you will have it. You wake up in the morning, say something good, something positive, something mighty, something miraculous. You will have it the rest of the day in Jesus' name. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And ye shall have them. Luke Luke chapter 17. Luke chapter 17. Reading from verse 6. In Luke chapter 17. Reading from verse 6. And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say to this sycamore tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea. And it should obey you. It should obey you. When you tell evil spirit to move out tonight, it will obey you. Sickness to vanish away tonight, it will obey you. Mountains will move away in your life. Uh, they brought somebody to one of these crusades. When she came to give testimony, she said, for the past four years, I've been on the bed. I've, if I wanted to, you know, pass urine, I do it there. If I wanted to pass uh, 
pieces. I do it there. If I want to eat, I do. For four years, I've been bedridden just there, just there. And now, when we came out to that crusade, and it was a great time. It was a wonderful time. Like it's going to be wonderful in your life tonight. And then, as we pray in the name, that only name that always works miracle, give me the name. Four years, four years bed reading. She rose up. As she rose up, then she came walking. If, if she didn't say so, you will not know that anything like that had happened to her before for the last four years. It's going to happen in your life. I said it's going to happen in your life. Mountains are going tonight. Somebody there, I said mountains are going tonight. Problems are vanishing away tonight impossibilities are going to be possible tonight and all the yokes are going to be broken tonight my time has come i said my time has come i said my time has come zechariah chapter 4 zechariah chapter 4 i'm reading from verse 6 then he said and spake unto me saying this is the word of the lord unto zerubbabel Oh, Zerubbabel is gone. Who is having this one today? Who is claiming this one today? This is the word of the Lord unto, unto you saying, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts, who art thou, O great mountain? Who art thou, O great problem? Who art thou, O great impossibility? Who art thou, O great yoke? Who art thou, O great curse? Who art thou, O great incurable disease? Who art thou, O great mountain? Before, before, before Zerubbabel, thou shalt become a plain. That thing has to go tonight. That thing has to be removed tonight. He shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shouting, crying, grace, grace unto it. Grace unto you. Mercy unto you. Deliverance unto you. Power unto you. Answered prayer unto you. Where is that mountain? It will move. Where is that problem? It has to move. Everything has to vanish away tonight. It will happen in Jesus' name. Everything we ask tonight, everything you ask tonight, the Lord is going to do. And the Lord is going to confirm in your life, he will do it. I said he will do it. That's why it says to you tonight, ask and shall be given you. Ask and shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock, it shall be opened unto, unto you. For everyone, how many people? Everyone, how many people? For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. The time has come for the doors of the mercy and the miracle of God to open to you tonight. Are you there? You must get it tonight. I said you must get it tonight. Rise up and tell the Lord, mountains are moving away. Problems are moving away. Sicknesses are moving away. When we call on the name of Jesus, all those impossibilities must become possible. Miracle tonight. Experiencing God's miracle working power. The miracle of healing. The miracle of deliverance, the miracle of breaking yokes, tonight in your life, tonight in your life, tonight in your life, miracle, salvation, restoration, strength, power, authority is coming upon your life tonight. Where Jesus is, there's miracle there. Jesus in your heart, miracle will be there. Jesus in your home, miracle will be there. Jesus coming to you tonight. And Jesus Christ in his might, in his power, 
in his authority, in that anointing that breaks the yoke, walking in your life tonight, as anywhere Jesus is, there must be miracle. You need salvation? Miracle of salvation available? Sanctification, miracle of sanctification available? Healing, miracle of healing available? Deliverance, miracle of deliverance available? Mention that name, miracle will follow. Pray in that name, miracle will follow. Believe in that name, miracle must follow. He'll heal your sickness. He'll deliver you from oppression. He will cancel the power of darkness from your life. Nightmares must vanish away. Something walking about in the body, all that must vanish away. Weakness. All the weakness of the body must vanish away. The hole in the heart, it will mend that hole tonight. I walk a little, I stand a little, I run a little, I'm tired, I'm weary. All the weariness and the, all the weaknesses must vanish away tonight. The dream is buried. Take you away the stone. Let the dream come alive again. Regrets in your life, sorrow in your life, impossibilities in your life. I cannot, I cannot take all that stone away tonight. Let a new life come, let a new power come, a new anointing. Every yoke broken. Possibilities tonight. Possibilities tonight. Anything holding you down, that thing has to leave tonight. That thing has to go tonight. Oppression, it has to go tonight. All things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible. You seek, you'll be well. Jobless, claim me tonight. Possess it tonight. Ask, it shall be given unto you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, the door of blessing is open for you tonight. Be a partaker. Moses was a partaker. Fearless, courageous. Moses is a partaker. Follow the same path. Follow the same line. Live in the same life. I say, I and the children whom the Lord has given me and for signs and for wonders in Israel. Ruth, consecration, commitment, absolute surrender, total yieldedness. I will not go back. Entreat me not to leave you. I'll keep on following. Then the miracles will follow. Abraham, calling those things would be not as though they were. Calling those things would be not as though they were. Be fully persuaded, giving glory to God, knowing that God cannot fail, knowing that his power cannot fail. 
knowing there shall be a performance of those things the Lord has told you, it will be done. Caleb, but different like Caleb. Single out yourself like Caleb. Don't flow with dead fish down the drain. Be courageous. Be firm. Turn not to the left or to the right. Be uncompromising. And say, I am well able. The others said they are not able. They said they could not stand. I can stand. I will stand. Like Lazarus, take you with the stone. You have not come to the end of the road yet. There's a lot ahead of you. Resurrection power is coming. Power for renewal. Power for restoration. Restoration to the fullness of life. Believe, like Elijah, believe, like Elijah, believe. The servant came back and said, I saw nothing. Go back again and see. Came back again, I saw nothing. Go back again and see. You must see the miracle. You must see the power. It's there. It's there. It's there. Receive your own miracle. Receive the power. Receive the answer to your prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord has answered your prayer. Your miracle has been granted unto you. Everything you ask, the Lord has given unto you. Raise up those hands, Father, in the name of Jesus. We well, thank you tonight because you are the great miracle worker. All things are possible with you. And as we come in the name of Jesus, all things are possible for every one of us in Jesus' name. 
every prayer your people have prayed, every sin they have uttered, grant unto them in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I pray there will be forgiveness of sin. Amen. There will be salvation. Amen. There will be holiness of heart and life. Amen. And Lord, give strength to those who are weak in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray that every sickness, every infirmity, I command, come out in Jesus' name. Amen. And every yoke is broken out of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Every miracle you desired, every miracle you demanded, every miracle you prayed about, receive now in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, let there be a confirmation in every life, a performance in every life answers to every prayer thank you lord because we know you have answered we know it is done and we'll see the manifestation in every life in jesus name in jesus mighty name we pray it is done i said it is done i have received Say it well, I have received. Say it confidently, I have received. You go home rejoicing.